Uh, greetings and solidarity from Ireland to all at this conference and to all of the Palestinian people. <laughs> 75 years of ongoing Nakba is too much. Uh, Israel has pretended for all of those 75 years that it is a normal state, that it is a democratic state, that it is trying to protect its security. But the 75th anniversary of the Nakba exposes this lie, this propaganda. The Nakba reminds us that this history is a history of terrorism against the Palestinian people. It is a history of ethnic cleansing. It is an ex a history of stealing Palestinian land. It is a history of apartheid. It is a history of racism. It is a history of colonialism. And anybody, anybody who believes themselves to believe in justice, to believe in human rights, to believe in international law, to believe in freedom, is duty bound to stand with the Palestinian people and against the state of Israel. But now, now, with this government of Netanyahu, and Ben Gavir and Smotrich, now Israel does not even pretend. It doesn't pretend it's interested in peace or security or anything else. It exposes itself in its true reality of murder, of racism, of apartheid, of ethnic cleansing every day, every week, every month. And yet, and yet, the world looks on, the Western world looks on, and does nothing. It's shameful. And in particular, we see these shocking double standards in the last two years. All of the world was shocked by Putin's invasion of Ukraine. It is a legal occupation. It is an imperialist war. He is committing war crimes and crimes against humanity. But why is it the Western world immediately moves to sanction Putin? Immediately says the people of Ukraine have the right to resist these war crimes, these crimes against humanity, this illegal occupation, but it does not say the same about the Palestinian people. If Russia and Putin deserve sanctions, then the apartheid settler colonial state of Israel deserves sanctions, and it has deserved them for 75 years. And of course, one of the many of the great crimes of Israel is the expulsion of millions of Palestinians across the world in the diaspora. In Syria, in Lebanon, uh, across the Middle East and across Europe and across uh, the world. And under international law, but maybe more importantly, for anybody who believes in justice, Every single one of those Palestinians in the diaspora have the right to return to the homes and the villages and the towns from which they were expelled by Zionist terror gangs. Let's remember that. The massacre of Deir Yassin, the mass graves we now see in Tatora. These were the crimes of the real terrorists and of a state that has continued to commit that terrorism and those crimes against humanity and those war crimes. 
right up to today, and now they don't even pretend. The criminal siege of Gaza, the collective punishment of two million people in Gaza. This is a war crime. But where are the sanctions? Where are the sanctions? They give arms to the people of Ukraine to resist. The Palestinian people have not asked for arms. They're not looking for missiles. They just want sanctions and they want the Western world to stop selling weapons and missiles and armaments to the state of Israel. Can they not at least do that?